The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up um, an auxiliary channel or two. This is to make the is what this does is you can have reverb which you send to this specific channel. So I go to project, add track, and I go to FX channel. I want a stereo one. I'm just going to press OK, and you see it just adds it there. You can do exactly the same process again. Add track, FX channel. I want two. One I'm going to use for reverb for drums. So this one's going to be called drum verb. The other one I'm going to use for reverb for everything else. So synths, basically, synth verb. Now, to get the reverb into these channels, first of all, we have to set a reverb inside it. So to do that, I go over to the left hand side here and click on this icon here, which shows us the inserts. With all anything to do with the mixing desk, if you insert stuff, it will give you um, what's known as plugins or outboard equipment, things like reverb, compressors, gates, delays, sometimes distortion. We want reverb for this. So I'm clicking in the blank hole here and I'm going to add a reverb. I'm using master verb, but you can use uh, anything you want. There is Roomworks in the Cubase one. Then, the easiest way to do this is to select a, def uh, a one from the library. So if I click on preset, I can use the factory ones. And I just want a nice 80s snare. There we go, big hair snare. Lovely. And it gives me an 80s reverb because this song was obviously written in the 80s. For the synth one, I want probably a warmer sound than that. So I'm going to look for something like a hall. So preset. I'm looking for maybe a concert hall might sound nice. Now here, what it shows you is lots of different things. Um, and this will be the same in Rimworks. What we're looking for is to cut out the low frequencies. And it, in fact, they've done it already here. They have a damping on the uh, low frequencies. This stops the reverb being boomy. So at the moment, it's cutting out anything after two, 200 hertz there. So makes it less boomy. OK. So now we've done this, we then go over to our snare drum, solo it, and we'll solo our drum verb as well. Now here's the important bit, we need to send the sound from the snare into the drum verb. To do that, you go over back to the list of icons over here and click on this one which says show all sends. So we click on that and we need to send the snare sound into the drum verb. So I'll collect, you click on this area here, the little blue area, and select drum verb, turn it on and then use this line to turn up the amount we're sending. So if I press play, you'll hear the difference between nothing and lots. So I select the difference, make sure I'm sending both channels to it. And as you can hear, it gives it a real sort of big sound. You can do the same thing with the synth verb as well. So if I choose maybe the organ, so I go and look for the organ. I'll just wind it back to the beginning. There the organ comes in. Now make sure the organ soloed and the synth verb is soloed too. And we go back to the organ. And then on the send, which is this one, we drop down synth verb. See how good that sounds now. could ever sound good. I'm going to do the same with the rest of my track now. So I've now managed to get uh, either drum verb or synth verb across the tracks that I want, as you can see up the top here. Oops, F3 brings the mixer back. I haven't put anything on the bass or the kick drum 
It's mainly because they don't need anything. Sort of a golden rule never to put reverb on a bass or a kick drum. Unless you're going for some way out effect. Okay, the next thing I might want to do is play with the EQs a little bit. I would only recommend doing this if you really know what you're doing. To use the EQs, you choose the icon over here that says show all equalizers with curve. Now, for instance, I might want to change the sound of my vocal a little bit just to make it cut through a touch. So I wind it back to where the vocal comes in, which is around about bar nine. It's actually bar 12. Then, I look at my vocal. Now I want to sort of more sounds in the top mid. So that's this one here. The, the EQ works from the high, high mid, low mid, bass. Okay? Now we're not having any bass sounds. Probably not going to use any low mids. Definitely not going to use any high. So we're using the high mid sounds. So I'm just going to boost them a little bit. So just a touch. And I'm going to move it over a little bit to about 2, 5. I'm going to do exactly the same on this one. Just to give it a bit more sparkle at the top. Lovely. Then when you play it... <laughs> That's with. This is with. So you can hear it just picks it up a touch. Now this principle goes the same for anything, but try not to make everything too loud. The best way to mix stuff is if something's too loud, uh, bring it down, rather than if something's too quiet, turn it up. So always remember to turn down when mixing rather than up. Okay, so if you want to, the other thing you might want to do is add some compression. I would be very careful with compression because people overuse it. This is an insert, so you'll need to switch it to inserts. For instance, we might want some compression on the bass just to make it a bit more punchy. So I've got my mixer, then I change it to inserts. I'm just going to wind the track back a bit. We'll solo the bass. Then on the inserts, I'm going to add a compressor from the dynamics list. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either do it yourself, if you know what you're doing. Just take the ratio up to about 2.5, I reckon. And then listen to the difference of compressor makes. So makes it more punchy. There's also some nice presets in here. For instance, you can find a fretless bass, which is actually quite a good, good sound for this one. Then, you'll need them on both left and right channels, so hold down ALT, the ALT key on the keyboard, and drag it across, and it will put it in both things. So let's have a listen at the difference. Here it is before. So that's without the compressor. And this is with the compressor. It should be more punchy. Lovely. You can also use compressors on other things, maybe on the beep, maybe on the synth sounds. Again, be careful. Okay, so this concludes my tutorial on adding effects and reverb and mixing. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.